Hello, my lovely friends, and welcome back. Uh, we are going to be tackling a few problem areas today, I guess. So we're going to start in the kitchen where, as per the normal, there are dishes that need to be tackled. We also did some deep frying the day before this, so there is grease splatter all over the stovetop, so we'll be tackling that. And our microwave is well and truly due a clean as well. As you can see from this footage, it is disgusting. So we'll be jumping straight into that today. I'm just going to be clearing the clutter off of the desk here, which is the little one's schoolwork. So just putting that all back into her book folder, ready to take back to school along with her readers. I am hanging out, absolutely hanging out for the school holidays at this point, And I bet all the little ones are as well so here in australia southern hemisphere we are getting very close to the end of the school year and going into our summer so whilst there's lots of videos up on youtube of people getting prepped for winter and making everything super cozy we're going into warmer weather and i'm looking forward to it i'm ready for christmas decorating air conditioning because air conditioning to me feels like christmas having been raised in the south like in the southern hemisphere um beach days, all the good summer activities. So really looking forward to that coming up shortly. But as I said, we're staying in the kitchen. I'm going to just quickly fly through cleaning up the counters and reloading the dishwasher and doing a couple hand washing dishes as well. new to my channel hi and welcome my name is Maya I am an Australian housewife who posts weekly videos of cleaning motivation I live here with my husband my daughter and my greyhound all of which you see occasionally pop up in my videos uh, if you are new though and you enjoy the video please remember to hit that subscribe button and hit the like button as well to show support for my channel <music>
onto the microwave, it is disgusting and well and truly due for a clean. So we're going to be tackling that. I take the plate out and wash that separately, spray it down with my surface spray, wipe all the grout out of the bottom sides and the top as well. And then I go over it with a separate cloth to buff it dry and buff it clean to make sure it is actually clean and dry. Uh, usually I use my steam trick, which is three parts water to one part vinegar with some bicarb, microwave it on high for three minutes and it creates a steam that loosens everything up, deodorizes and disinfects. And then you just wipe it all out, similar to what I'm doing here today. Um, and it's clean and good to go, which is one of my favorite ways to clean the microwave, but I didn't have all the products on hand. Now here is a product that is not new to the market, but it is the first time I've tried using it. I noticed that the countertops were getting a little bit dull, so they needed a bit of a reseal, repolish. So that's what this product does is it cleans and it polishes and protects it. So you spray it on, use one cloth to wipe off the excess, and then you go over it with a second clean dry cloth in circular motions and buff it back to a shiny polish and it works amazing. My counters are so clean and shiny again, which is amazing. Uh, next off, we're just emptying the rubbish bin because that needs to be emptied. Uh, and then once that's taken out, you can see I've uh, decided to empty out my Robovac container. So I do deep clean the floors but the Robovac goes off every single day and it was due for an empty and a filter clean. And the filter clean, which is coming up now, just run it under cold water to get all the dust off, use the brush that comes with it to get into those little sections. And it is some satisfying dirt footage. So I'll let you watch and enjoy that. This is one of our big problem areas that I was talking about earlier. It's not the first time I've shown this on our channel, uh, on my channel, sorry, that's bizarre, but it's not the first time you've come along and watched me have to clear this off. It is obviously a bookshelf, it's near our back door, it is a main thoroughfare, it is so easily used as a dumping ground and that's exactly what happens. So anything that should be in the office or outside um, will somehow end up being just left there if it's being used inside for whatever reason and vice versa. So I'm starting off by clearing off everything that shouldn't be on there, giving it a wipe down, a clean, uh, thorough clean at the top here because there were some things spilled on it. Uh, and then I'm going to put everything back. And then as I move down, I'm going to continue the dusting and the cleaning. But you'll see me switch over to an orange dusting cloth, which is a dry dusting cloth. It is works on being static. So I switch over to that because I wanted to go over the top of our books, our cookbooks, and I didn't want to have any moisture getting into the pages. So I switched over to the dry one just to catch any lint and any dust that was sitting on the top of those.
And this is our second problem area in the house where it just kind of becomes a capsule. There's a third one in the living room, but we're not going on that one today. Uh, but this one is obviously a coat hanger. It's for our bags, hats, and jackets. But post winter, it's kind of accumulated every backpack we have from our hiking trips, uh, an umbrella, all of our hats and multiple puffer jackets. And it was just starting to really encroach on the space. So I thought today was the day to sort of just go through it and clean out the or take off the items that didn't need to be there so like extra backpacks and the puffer jackets they can now go back into the wardrobe ready for next season because even though we're still having a few cold days here they're not really thick parker puffer jacket kind of cold days it's more like grab a sweater sweater weather so i uh, gave that a clear off and then i cleared out the other items in there that were just creating space issues uh, like there was a box that was full of old cleaning products that had mostly died off and a few other things that were collected from upstairs when I did a declutter a while ago it's been sitting there for months with the intention to go through it and see what I do and don't need the fact that it's been sitting there for months and I haven't needed anything in it except the newspapers that I use for cleaning off mirrors and glass sometimes and use for um, protecting services when I'm doing projects or when the little one is doing craft meant that I just took the newspaper off and binned everything that was in that box. I haven't touched it for months. I do not need it. It is just taking up space and taking up emotional and mental energy as well being in there. So got all of that out of the way, gave the floor a clean and then moved the dog food out as well. So I could give the laundry floor a proper mop. But so if you have any spaces in your house as well that is similar to that sort of situation where it's sort of encroaching on your space it's a oh i must go through this and clear it out and see what i do and don't need and it's been sitting there for months trust me whatever's in there you don't need it unless it's something that is seasonal specific rather than an everyday thing you probably don't need it but and it's probably better emotionally for you just to move it out permanently uh, if you have anything like this space as well so all of the clutter and junk that was hanging on these hooks was really stressing me out and creating a situation where I felt overwhelmed which is why I haven't touched it for months but realistically it took me maybe four minutes to actually do it it was just getting through that mental block kind of thing to get started so again if you have any spaces in there that you feel overwhelmed it looks like it's going to be a big job just start it's it's the toughest part is starting and then it's just done and then you feel so good guys so i'll i'll get off my uh soap block with that one now um and just continue on with vacuuming and mopping my hardwood floors so they look all shiny and beautiful because i love these floors <laughs> This is the last for me. I feel like I have spoken a lot this video, so I'm sorry about that. I've been an absolute chatterbox through this one, but we are finishing off in the bathroom and then a quick bit of laundry, which is just those towels I picked up and moved out. The bathroom was a disaster like this because in the morning I had to give our dog a wash. He was very displeased with the entire situation, did not like it at all. He's a greyhound and they are just, they're, they're not fond of water. So it was a bit of an ordeal, but it meant that a lot of my old towels that I use specifically for things like this were um, used because I needed to kind of make it a slip free, friendly, soft zone for him, especially in the shower. So used a lot of towels to kind of create a safer environment for him to be able to get bathed and then hosed off the extra fur and it 
like any loose hairs from him that were stuck on the shower walls and the floor using the rosette attachment and then I mapped uh mapped <laughs> words hard mopped the walls and the base of the flower of the shower as well to make it all clean and tidy and ready for human use again but that is it from me today guys thank you so much for coming along and i hope that you have enjoyed this video and got some motivation from it if you have enjoyed it and you haven't already subscribed please remember to do so on your way out thank you so much guys and i'll see you next time bye